Hey, Melanie Beckler here with ask-angels.com. In this video, we are going to talk about how to break a curse. So first of all, being cursed sounds like this very scary and very negative thing. But really, a curse is any time someone holds a negative intention towards another. So if someone is consciously or even unconsciously wanting you to fail or hoping something bad or negative or lower vibrational happens in your life, this is a curse. So curses happen more than you might realize. It's not just needles in a voodoo doll or someone consciously calling forth a, a curse. These are types of curses as well, but really it's just a negative intention held towards another. And here's the thing. If you are in a state of love, gratitude, joy, appreciation, you are literally vibrating above the level at which a curse can negatively impact you. So when you're in gratitude, when you're in joy, when you're in the present moment with your heart open, shining your light, embodying your authenticity, standing in your power, you're not going to be adversely affected even if someone holds a negative intention towards you. Even if someone hires a voodoo doctor or witch or whatever to curse you because you're vibrating above that lower vibrational energy. Joy, love, gratitude are your psychic shield. But if you let that vibration drop and slip, if you tune in to past pain and start repeating past painful memories in your mind, or maybe you start worrying about your future, about what's going to happen on a collective scale in your family members' lives or in your life, you're shifting out of that gratitude, joy, love, and power in the present moment. And that is when you become susceptible to psychic attack, to curses, to any sort of lower vibrational energy or frequency. Joy and love protect you, but if you step out of joy and love, out of the present, worrying about the past, dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, being fearful about the future, that is when your energy shield drops and then you can become entangled in the lower frequency and energy that is a curse. Psychically to me, curses look like these gray bands of energy. So normally when you're in joy and love, light is flowing to you in every direction. You're standing in your power, your heart is open, your aura is intact, you're literally glowing with light. Curses are these bands of gray energy that permeate the light and that lower your vibration. It may be a mental loop of fear, anxiety, or worry that just bubbles up, that you loop in, and then that changes your point of attraction. So it's not really like curses have this big, powerful energy. They're very subtle and they work by causing you to go down that downward spiral, that lower vibrational cycle of, of fear, of lower energy, of pain, of negativity, which changes your point of manifestation from your highest interest towards lower vibrational experiences and negativity. So protect yourself from the energy of curses or psychic attack of curses or psychic attack by keeping light in your aura, opening your heart, imagining gold and light all around you, vibrantly shine, stand in your authenticity, be in the present moment in a state of gratitude and vibrate higher than any curse or negative energy. But what happens if you do drop down in vibration, become a vibrational match for that curse energy, and begin to experience negative energetic repercussions, well, the good news is you can just ask your angels to help. So let's go ahead and do this together right now. Join me in closing your eyes, taking a deep relaxing breath, 
and focusing inward on the area of your heart, I ask that we each be surrounded by divine light and angels to cleanse our energy and uplift our vibration. Focus fully in this present moment here and now, letting go of the past, letting go of the future, fully entering this moment here and now where all of your power is, envisioning light all around you. And I now call forth Archangel Michael and each of our guardian angels. Please reverse any negative energetic patterns, curses, or psychic intentions or attacks. Release any curses, break the curse chain, and release the curse negative energy into the light. Release here and now. Focus again on the orb of light around you. And inside this orb of light, angels, please cleanse the energy, elevate the vibration, replace any lower vibrational frequencies, intentions, or seeds of thought. Release these into the light and replace them with gratitude, appreciation, love, and joy. Help us to return our awareness to this present moment, to our power, and help us through gratitude and love to manifest positive blessings in the future. To stay in a high vibrational state where we're unaffected by negativity of others, even when it is consciously directed our way in the form of a curse. Let us vibrate above it. And now from below your feet, up through your ankles, up through your legs, knees, hips, waist, abdomen, chest, elbows, arms, shoulders, neck, head. Let the light cleanse and release into the light of the divine any lower vibrational energies. Imagine this net of light is passing up through your being, releasing, pulling out, dissolving, transmuting into the light, release up into the light any fear, uncertainty, doubt, any curses, any psychic attack, these are magnetized out of your being and released into the light of the divine with help from Archangel Michael, your guardian angels, and any other of your team of guides and angels of love, light, and high vibrational frequency who can most serve now. We thank you for your guidance, protection, and for releasing fully and completely any lower vibrational energies from curses or psychic attack. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Did you feel that shift? This is so powerful and works instantly. So keep yourself in the present moment in gratitude, joy, and love. But if you find yourself dip and you feel like you're engaging in a negative intention, someone else may be directing your way, release it. Your angels can help you to shift in an instant to return to this present moment here and now, where you're able to stand in your power, vibrate with your authentic truth, light, and in alignment with your higher self, vibrating above lower vibrations and negativity to manifest blessings, in your life and rippling out that positive vibration and energy signature to positively manifest for collective consciousness, for humanity, and for all that is. Thank you so much for watching this video, for committing to stand in your light, shine with your authentic truth, and continue to raise your vibration on this path of spirituality, ascension, awakening. Wherever you are right now, you have angels with you. You're loved, guided, and supported. All the power is in the present moment. And as you tune in to gratitude and love and light and appreciation in the present, each consecutive present moment becomes higher vibrational. You become more radiant. You more fully aligned with your authenticity, power, and your highest light. If you like this video, please comment below and I will talk to you there. 
Thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel, for watching this video, for shining your light. Thank you so much. Namaste. And I will see you in the next video.